Discord is one of the fastest growing apps for communities, and it's especially popular in the crypto and NFT space. And if you play your cards right, you can make thousands or even millions of dollars by joining the right groups and knowing what to do in there. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to use Discord for beginners and why it's important for anyone who wants to build a community or be a part of one. If you're new to my channel, my name's Ryan Pineda. I'm a real estate investor and entrepreneur, and my goal is to help people live the wealthy way. If you go to wealthyway.com, you can get our free courses, our free planner, app and even join our free Discord community, which I'll teach you how to use right now. So let me start off by saying that I currently run two different Discord servers. One is for the wealthy way, which I just mentioned. The other is for my NFT project called Tykes. The slogan of Tykes is that we are the pioneers of digital real estate. Essentially, it's a community for people who are really interested in crypto and real estate and all the functionality and new innovation that's gonna come from it. And between those two Discord servers, we've got thousands of people in them. And by building those servers, I've learned a ton about how to run a Discord community to the highest level, while also being a part of other ones that were run in not so great ways. So I'm gonna break this video down into three parts. What is Discord? Why is it important? And how to use it to your benefit? If you're familiar with Slack or WhatsApp, then you'll realize Discord isn't really that different. Essentially, it's just a chat room. It started out as an app for gamers, but it quickly grew beyond that. Almost every single big NFT community has a Discord server where they all get to hang out and talk. And even influencers and business people like my myself are now creating Discord servers for their communities. It's a great way to have a 24 seven chat room. It's kind of like the next level up from a Facebook group. You see on Facebook, not everyone's just talking to each other with a constant stream of chat. Somebody will make a post and then it'll get a couple of comments here or there. And that's really just how Facebook works. But they don't have a mechanism to have an ongoing chat throughout the day. And so when you start thinking about why somebody would want to chat throughout the day, it starts to make sense what kind of people are attracted to Discord. Discord. If you're into crypto or stocks, it's pretty good to have an ongoing chat on a real-time basis because the stocks and crypto are moving so fast. If you're a gamer and you want to go live stream or play with your friends, you want to have a place where you can chat and watch whatever's happening. And if you're into sports, it would be really good to join a Discord for your sports team so that you guys can all talk about the game while it's happening. So Discord is very different from Facebook or other platforms because it truly is a place anybody can log into and just start talking and hanging out. So let's jump into the next question we need to answer then, which is why is this even important? Well, first off, the world is transitioning into a 24 seven place. Crypto is 24 seven, social media is 24 seven. You get the idea. Everybody wants to be plugged in to what's happening with their friends, with their family, with the world all the time, whenever they want. And look, this is up for debate on whether it's good or bad. If you don't believe me, you can go to Netflix and watch The Social Dilemma and see kind of the problems that social media is causing. But regardless of how you feel about it, if you're running a business or you have a community of people, then you do want a place for them to plug in 24 seven, whether you're the one using it or not. For instance, in my Wealthy Way Discord, we've got people talking in there 24 seven. They're talking about different side hustles and ways to make money. They're being encouraged by one another on different problems they might be having. They're talking about different aspects of faith and family and other things where they just might not have anywhere else to talk about. And knowing that they have a place to open up and get a response is really therapeutic and it builds this community that you can't really get elsewhere. On the other end of the spectrum with my Tykes Discord, so many people are getting so excited for the Mint that they just wanna to talk to other people who are just as excited as them. When you bring together all of these people who have common interest in one thing, in this case, digital real estate, it's so cool because they don't really have anyone else to talk about this niche to. And so I love popping into that Discord and just seeing all the talk and all of the ideas and all of the excitement. It's just super cool. It does not exist anywhere else. And it's great for me as the project creator because I am seeing them come up with new ideas that we are then applying to the project behind the scenes. And the best part is all of this gets to happen without me. All I had to do was set the environment, the intention of the server, and everyone else gets to benefit from it as well as me. So if you have a product or a business or even an interest in something and you can't find a place for anyone else to go talk about it, 
then you might wanna consider making your own Discord server for whatever that is. But let's just say you don't wanna run your own Discord server, you wanna join existing communities as a participant. Well, there are a lot of ways that you can get value from Discord doing this. For one, you can go join Discords that have similar interests as you and go meet other people that have those interests. This can lead to new friends, new business partners, investors, mentors, you name it. If they're in the place that you want to be, there's a good chance that they're gonna be someone that you wanna be friends with or work with. You can also learn new things by being in the right Discord. Case in point, in my Wealthy Way Discord, they're talking about real estate investing tips, side hustles, work-life balance. And if you're in the NFT space, this is where you can go learn about upcoming projects and get those whitelist spots that are so valuable. I've learned about so many different NFT projects just being a part of multiple Discords. So as a participant, it's important for finding like-minded people and building relationships relationships. It's important for finding business and investment opportunities. And it's important for learning about a subject or a niche that you're interested in. And that leads me to the third aspect of this video, which is how to use Discord so that you can benefit from it. First, let me say that the biggest problem with Discord is all of the scams. The biggest way that this happens is from other people DMing you. They'll pretend to look like officials from the Discord community and that they want to give you something special. But the reality is almost anyone who runs their own Discord server will tell you that they will not DM you directly because of these scams. So one of the first things you want to do when you sign up for Discord is disable all of your DMs. Essentially, somebody has to first friend request you before they're able to DM you. And if you accept their friend request, then you guys can start talking. This prevents a lot of the bots and scammers from DMing you directly and potentially misleading you. And I want to hammer this point home very clearly because I had a friend who fell for one of these scams and lost over a million dollars. So do not respond to those scams. And I can tell you personally, at the Wealthy Way and the Tykes Discord, we will never DM you first. The second thing you wanna do after disabling your DMs is set up your profile. Now how you set it up is gonna be depending on which groups you're trying to join. Now because Discord is very heavily into gaming and crypto, many people like to be anonymous or go with an alias or gamer tag. And you can do that too. You can have your cool name as well as a different picture. A lot of people like to use their picture of their NFT that they own. Or if you don't care about that, you can just use your normal real name. For me personally, I change my profile depending on which Discord server I'm in. So if I'm a part of Tykes or Wealthy Way, I just use my name, Ryan Pineda, and my picture. If I'm a part of an NFT community, I'll probably have my profile picture as that NFT. So you can adjust it depending on which server you're in, which also leads into the fact that you have to start joining all the servers that you're interested in. Typically, the best way to find servers to join is by following projects or people that you're interested in. So for example, if you're watching this video, then it's probably likely that you're interested in different projects and things that I have going on. So you would join the Wealthy Way Discord and you would join the Tykes Discord. But maybe you follow some other content creators that you really like, and then they mention they have a Discord. So you're probably gonna wanna join theirs too. If you're into sports or you're into games, you can simply Google the best sports discords, the best game discords, and you'll get a list to pop up of Discord communities that you can join. The next thing you need to know is when you join a Discord server, they're usually going to make you do some type of verification to prove that you're a human and you're not a bot. So when you join, there's typically not going to be a lot of channels that you can look at. It's going to say verification on many servers. And from there, you got to read the directions of what they want you to do to verify. Typically, all you have to do is click a little emoji sign that they have underneath the post. In the case of Tykes, if you click the little lock symbol, it will verify you as being human, and then it will open up all the other channels for you to look at. And speaking of channels, you're probably wondering what exactly are those? Well, once you join a server, there are a whole bunch of different categories of chat rooms you can join. So in the wealthy way, we've got chat rooms for real estate, we've got it for crypto, we've got a general chat, we've got announcements, and a whole bunch of different sections that you can go in. And so it allows you to go into a specific niche within a niche. Maybe you're in the wealthy way because you like real estate, but you don't really care too much about crypto. Well, you don't have to go in the crypto channel. You can just stay in the real estate and the general chat. Now, once you've figured out your servers and you got all the setup done, the next thing you need to do is just make sure you're adding value to the community. Start interacting, start answering people's questions, start asking questions yourself. If you never post and you only read the chat, no one's ever gonna know you exist. So if you wanna build relationships and get potential business, then you gotta be willing to put yourself out there. You could also look for ways to connect with the moderators 
moderators and become a bigger presence in that server. Simply shoot one of the moderators a DM and you can ask them about how you can contribute for the community. Also, most Discord servers have leaderboards and roles. These leaderboards will track who's engaging the most, who's adding the most value to the community, and you can also be rewarded with different types of roles which will tell people what your status is in that community. For instance, in my communities, I'm the CEO. That's the role I have because I am the head of the entire community. But my moderators have a special status so that people know that they're moderators in that community and that they have authority. And then the normal members within the communities can gain different statuses depending on when they joined, depending on how much they engage, or if we want to reward them with a special role because they've done something really cool. By having these roles in leaderboards, you're able to see who are the top members of the community. And if you're trying to establish yourself in there, then you should strive to somehow gain one of those roles and be a valued member. So overall, that is what Discord is and how you use it. I think it is a great platform and I think more business people are going to adopt it as time goes on. And I personally love using it not only to host my own communities, but to be a part of other ones. And I love just jumping in there, interacting with people and doing Q and A's. So if you're watching this, I'd love to have you join the Wealthy Way or the Tykes Discord. But anyways, I hope you got value from this video. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.